Maple includes a database of all the groups of order less than 512. The search small groups command in the group theory package allows you to search this database for groups that satisfy various properties. In this video, we'll look at several examples that should give you an indication of the kinds of things that you can do with this very powerful command. To begin, we use the with command to make the commands in the group theory package available. To create a group from the database, use the small group command with the group order, in this case 6, and an index 2, to create, in this case, the second group of order 6, which happens to be the cyclic group. The number of groups of a given order can be obtained using the num groups command. Here we see that there are two groups of order 6. To determine the ID of a group, you can use the identify small group command. Here we've taken a well-known presentation for the alternating group of degree 5, and we use identify small group to determine that it's the fifth group of order 60. Likewise, we could determine that the dihedral group of degree 12 is the sixth group of order 24. We can check that this is correct by using R isomorphic to see that the small group of order 24 and index 6 created from the, the database of groups is isomorphic to the dihedral group constructed this way. The all small groups command returns a list of all the groups of a given order. And you can also use uh, a range of orders. So here we see, see the list of the groups whose orders are between 2 and 5 inclusive. Now, the search small groups command allows you to retrieve groups from the database by finding groups satisfying various combinations of properties that you specify using options to the command. For example, the following command finds all the groups in the database that are simple and that are not abelian. Notice that by default, the search command returns a sequence of the IDs of the groups that it found in the database satisfying the properties you specified. However, you can also use the form option to change the form of the output. This command finds the groups of order 24, which we specify using this equation, and with nil potency class equal to 2. And we use the form option to ask the command to return the groups as permutation groups. And so we see the output is actually a sequence of permutation groups. Alternatively, you can ask that the groups be returned as finitely presented groups. And here we get a sequence of two group presentations. Finally, you can request that a mere count of the number of groups in the database matching your search criteria be returned by giving the form option the value count. Here we'll broaden the search a little bit and ask for groups that are nil of order 24 that are nilpotent without regard to the, their nilpotency class. We see that there are five groups. Now a Boolean option like nilpotent can be specified in this form or as an equation with right hand side equal to true. This is equivalent to the former. And it can be negated by using an equation with right hand side equal to false. So that we see that there are 10 groups of order 24 that are not nilpotent. Let's look at a few more examples. The number of groups of order 16 is equal to 14. We can get the same thing using the search small groups command by specifying the order equal to 16 and asking for a simple count. To determine the number of groups whose order lies in a certain range, the order option can take a range value. So here we're counting the number of groups whose order lies between 10 and 20 inclusive, and we see that they're 38. Similarly, you can use an inequality. Here we specify that we're looking for groups whose order is less than 100, and we see that there are just over 1,000. 
Now let's see how many groups with order between 20 and 30 have exponent less than 8. Here exponent is a numeric property of the group, and so you can use it in an inequality like this. Or maybe we're just interested in the groups that are non-abelian. So we set abelian to false, and we see that the number of groups is cut down to 3. Perhaps now we're ready to see the group themselves. So we change the form option from count to output permutation groups, and we see the actual groups. And now we can get an indication of what kinds of groups we found. And we see that we've got two groups of order 24, both have exponent 6, and a group of order 7 with exponent, uh, 27 rather, with exponent 3. So far, we've looked at examples of searchable properties that were numeric, such as the order or the exponent, or Boolean, such as being simple or abelian. In addition, there are a number of properties related to the identification of specific subgroups, such as the center or the derived subgroup and Sela subgroups. For example, here are the IDs of the groups whose order lies between 10 and 20, and whose center is isomorphic to the Klein 4 group which happens to have ID uh, 4, 2. Similarly, we can determine that there are 10 groups of order less than 512, because we did not specify any particular order, with center the cyclic group of order 4, and with derived subgroup isomorphic to the Klein 4 group. And we've asked here just to count those groups. Now the data related to Celo subgroups is particularly interesting. In this case, we have not only the isomorphism type, as reflected in the group ID, but also the numbers of each of the Celo subgroups. The options related to Celo subgroups are indexed by the, the, the prime of interest. So here, the Celo option, which identifies the subgroup itself, is indexed by the prime 2. And this tells Maple that we are interested in the CELO2 subgroup, and we want to find the groups here whose order is at most 40, and with, which have a CELO2 subgroup isomorphic to the Klein 4 group. And we get back a sequence of these IDs. Now we can refine this search a little further and ask for the groups that have a number of CELA, sub, CELA subgroups, CELA2 subgroups, equal to 1. So this asks for those groups of order at most 40 whose CELA subgroup is isomorphic to the Klein 4 group and which have a normal CELA2 subgroup. And of course, the, the prime here, um, you can ask for different numbers. So here we're looking for groups with exactly three CELA2 subgroups. And likewise, we could ask for a, um, a groups that have a, CELO, uh, a normal CELO3 subgroup. And if you wanted to find groups which had a non-normal CELO2 subgroup, we can go back up here and change this equality and ask for those with, for which the number of CELO2 subgroups is greater than 1, because that means that it's not normal. And we see that in this range, at least, there are none. So this concludes this little tutorial on the search small groups command. There are many more options not discussed here. They're all documented in the help page for the command.